Hi guys, I'm Stephanie and I've been teaching with VIP Kid for two years. If you're new to VIP Kid, you will most likely be asked to make a demo lesson at least once. It could be for the interview or to become certified for more levels. I've been able to observe many teachers as a mentor, and I have found that when it comes to making a demo lesson, there are things you can do to get it right the first time. So today I have five tips for nailing your demo lesson. Please comment below what is the most challenging part of making your demo lesson. Tip one, your classroom. Your camera should be angled at eye level or higher, and your background should be educational in some way. You should add extra lighting, like possibly a lamp, and you should be wearing a headset. Tip two, planning. These lessons are right around 10 minutes, so review the lessons enough times that you are familiar with all of the slides. Make notes for yourself if that helps. Know what the objectives are for each slide, and no matter how you choose to teach it, by the end of it, the student should still be meeting the lesson objectives. If the student is going to be blending three-letter words together, it wouldn't be enough for you to just say the words slowly and have them repeat. You should isolate each phonic sound and have the student practice maybe with you first and then independently after they have practiced a few times. Don't forget that you should be looking for opportunities to go beyond the PowerPoint. So if they're learning how to conjugate a word using the S at the end for he, she, and it, why not also have them practice making their own sentences? He runs, she runs, it runs. Tip three, have a great start. When you start the lesson, be fun, enthusiastic, and encouraging. Great job, Lisa. Don't make this demo lesson when your baby is sleeping in the room next door, for example. Slow down your speech the way that you normally would if you had a student in class with you. Use simple language and avoid a lot of incidental language that's extra over explaining and using words where they don't need to be in the lesson. For example, you don't need to transition to the next slide by giving some sort of a segue sentence. Just flip to the next slide, begin asking the question or reading the target sentence and also review the phonic sounds, the synthetic phonic sounds, so that you're confident in your pronunciation during the demo lesson. So this would not be k, but instead more like k, not voiced. This would not be m, but instead m. Mm. Tip five, your hands. Your hands should not be glued to your computer mouse during the entire lesson. Instead, they should be up and using TPR for things like pointing to your mouth, cupping your ear, and drawing a line. But also to help the student with understanding meaning for things like I, you, see, run, and blend. Your hands should also be holding a few props, things like a whiteboard, or flashcards, or a puppet, even some realia. So I hope that helps and good luck on your demo lesson. And check out my website in the link below where I have shared resources on how to get hired at VIP Kid as well as what you need to know as a brand new teacher. Feel free to email me for some one-on-one -on -one help. Please like this video and subscribe for more tips.